It's safe, it's healthy, and most of all, it is indoors. Staying fit when the weather hits. We're all looking for a way to do that. In tonight's Consumer 4 report, John Holt may have just the answer you're looking for. You know, this time of year, it's darker and colder at night, making it easier for us to find excuses not to exercise outdoors, right? But one of the most popular ways to exercise can actually be done right in the comfort of your own home, even while you're watching News Channel 4. Fall in step tonight with Consumer 4. We'll turn you on to the most popular way to exercise indoors. It wasn't long ago that most of us got our daily dose of exercise in the good old out-of-doors. But with the cold, dark days of winter upon us, even the most driven fitness fanatics may have trouble keeping on course. One way to stay on track, exercise indoors. On a treadmill. They're the equipment of choice, whether at home or in the gym. In fact, treadmill sales have skyrocketed 230% since 1988. That's how Jean Olufsen stays on the exercise path, and she can't imagine not walking it every day for two simple reasons. Flexibility. I can do it on my own schedule. And convenience. It's wonderful to come downstairs, and the excuse again of not having time to go to the gym doesn't work because it's right here. And it's right for your health. Mainly it's going to work on the cardiovascular system. You're also going to work the muscles in your legs, um, your gluteal muscles, and if you hold yourself correctly, you might even work your stomach muscles too. Martin says you can pump up the workout by using your arms. If you're pumped up now and ready to go get a treadmill first, go to a fitness store or gym and try one out. Make sure you like it and that you'll use it before you invest in one. You want to ask yourself honestly if you really think that you're going to stick with it. If you're convinced you will, then personal trainer Greg Justice recommends these four things. Go to a store that specializes in fitness equipment or one that specializes in used fitness equipment. Ask a fitness center or personal trainer about their equipment. And finally, check the classified. If you're going to buy a used piece of uh, equipment, treadmill, uh, I would recommend going with a, a big name brand. Like I said, the Precore, Cybex, Trotter, one of the, the, the names that has a reputable, uh, or a good reputation in the industry and that you know is going to be serviceable. The keys, he says, are name brand and service. If you get an off-brand uh, treadmill, if it, if it goes bad on you, you may have a hard time uh, being able to find a serviceman that will be able to, to uh, take care of it. Why is a name brand so important? Well, almost all dealers offer service on brand name equipment, whether you bought it from them or not. Service is everything. Uh, the product is only as good as the service that you get. And with a good machine and regular reliable service, a treadmill can last more than 10 years. Justice says plan on spending between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars for a new low-end, good quality treadmill. You know, if you're going to make that kind of commitment to your health, I would think that you'd want to be willing to spend a little bit extra money to get a good quality piece of equipment, equipment rather than going to a department store and getting a three or four or five hundred dollar treadmill and uh, not being terribly satisfied. If you buy used, again, go with a top brand name and plan on around six to eight hundred dollars. I usually sell them for between fifty and sixty-five percent of the retail price that I have paid for them. You can't put a price on good health, but if you'd like to put some money towards it, a treadmill may be just what you need to get on the healthy track. Something else for you to think about, where you'll work out. Our experts say you should put your treadmill in a well-lit room with a comfortable temperature and if possible, have music, a TV, or a VCR in front of you to help you pass the time. All right, no excuses. I'm John Holt. That's the latest from Consumer.